anti-air. But you got it. Like you got it. You got it. And now there's no more Kazi in this tournament. Zero. Yeah. One at one out at seventh. One out at fifth. And we are left with all standard roster characters. No fighter past one or two in Mario, Diddy Kong, as you see here, into K. Roll, into into Ken. Mm -hmm. Now we're bringing this too small battle for the only thing now base roster is the stage. <laughs> True. <laughs> I forget. I forget all the time that this stage was DLC. So funny. But it's, now, but it, it was a welcome one for sure. So random. It, was, it wasn't even a DLC patch. It was just. It was just added one day. Oh yeah. I remember that day. It like, wasn't during a fighters pass. What a weird. What a weird game we play. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I love Ultimate. It's so goofy. And of course, these two are embracing the goofiness right now. As we're just throwing out. We're just throwing things out right now. We're going crazy. Flood and Fireball and Peko obviously disengaging. These two. We are. We're, we're playing that good news right now. We're playing very patiently, just waiting to engage. Finally finding that monkey flip and looking to find his edge guard here against Xavier. This is absolutely one of those matchups where you're always looking to punish what comes after. Mm -hmm. Like, okay, Mario's going to back air here. Is Mario going to back air into shield? Okay, then I can monkey flip punish it. Is Mario going to like back air into forward tilt? Oh, that was nasty. Instead, it looked like Pekka was going to look for exactly that monkey flip to catch something like a shield, but instead Xavier jumps around it and finds a mighty big punish to take the first dog. Very well played. Good stuff from Nick Xavier. Of course, coming back now. That stock lead is still playing very conservative. Pekko getting a little too overzealous there. And Xavier opting for the up throw. So just combo down to the up smash. No not going to do this Mario hanging on just fine. And just sticking to that same game plan. So the higher percentages, not changing anything up, and just not getting frazzled by being at such a high percent. Of course, Pekko closing out by a banana and top smash. Yeah, catching the landing with that massive transcendent projectile can cover so much base. Makes Diddy Kong's effective range span extremely, extremely far. And there's something I was saying a little earlier, like negative space is something so awkward to get a handle on uh, when it comes to... Uh, platform fighters because there's so many directions that you have to take into account for mm -hmm. uh, and Diddy Kong's banana lets you do that in a very very safe way yeah yeah definitely Diddy Kong is able to hold down spaces really well obviously facing off against this Mario who just wants to get in your face and using that banana to say hey no stay stay over there get away from me and of course fireball doing it's essentially fireball the same thing you know Xavier using that really well trying to keep this Diddy Kong uncomfortable the only thing you want to do as Mario is keep this Diddy Kong uncomfortable in a matchup like this. Keep him on his toes, even as much as he's jumping around, you still want to keep him on his toes. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Landing down air, a sour spot of the back air though, as they miss the cape ledge trump. That's that's real tough because Pekka was leading on ledge and would have gotten hit with the cape ledge trump in the back air. Uh, tough to let that go if you're Xavier. Got another chance for it though. As the back air doesn't close out the stock here, Momo. Pekko having a couple leases on life, and, but is yet still on this ledge. Oh, yeah, finally able to make it back with the banana in hand. Finding that punish with banana into up smash. Pekko now taking this lead over Xavier. is opting back to that ledge. The way, oh, again, resetting there. Very good patience. Xavier immediately firing that right back in his face. Catching the monkey flip there with the fireball. Oh my gosh, still not going to close it out. But man, amazing play at this ledge from both of these players. Still not enough to close out the stock. The up smash will absolutely do it, though. Pekko trying to connect the the banana at the spacing to catch the neutral getup, so the dash attack is uh, confirmed on the trip. But slightly misspacing it, letting Xavier to clo uh, leading to Xavier closing out the stock and leading us to a last stock situation where Pekko is trying to get out to an early lead with yet another ledge trap. Ooh, oh, Xavier just misses. Oh, oh no. no! That's so tragic. That is that yeah, is just uh, <laughs> visibly pissed. <laughs> that is just unfortunate. <laughs> like no, no ifs, ands, or buts about that. You get caught by the super jump punch. You're in the middle hit, so you're not sure when you're gonna get hit by the punch versus when you have to tech. Probably you actually have to tech multiple times. Uh, oof. Yeah, that's tragic. Super jump bump. Super Jump Punch obviously having that knockback multiplayer. So I yeah. sent so far down on the side without tech. And of course, Pekko just wasn't ready for that. I wasn't ready for that. The weird lip of Battlefield 2 to send it at the just most disgusting the goofy angle. angle. <laughs> it's like, there is nobody that makes it back from this. 
there's maybe a, like two characters that make maybe it like back. Maybe like Villager. Like Villager, Sora. Oh. Maybe, maybe Steve. Gross. Don't don't speak his name in this house. Sorry, sorry about it. My bad. What did we have? I don't think there was a Steve player here today. Is, it, is Steve not banned today? Fucking lunatic. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was like, Steve's I was banned. Oh my god, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, it's crazy, and none of the Steve players showed up today. He's unbanned <laughs> in so many other places. Fusion, stick into their gun. <laughs> RJ might go. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> We're bringing this right back to game two, though. Right back to All PS2. Right. Good stage. Good stage for Diddy Kong. Comfortable yeah. stage for Petco. Great stage for Mario, though. Like, one of the funniest things I find about Mario is the fact that he is generally really quick when it comes to both on the ground and the air, those general above average movement stats, means it's almost easier to find accessibility with biplats than it is a center platform like Hollow Bastion or Smashville. Mm. Only slightly, but it makes a difference. They're looking for uh, looking for a follow-up right there and potentially getting potentially could have gotten one there with the up air, but getting a couple wrong awkward hits and it's leading Xavier to Drop this first stock almost. Let's see if you're trying to get back here. Recovering high with the super jump punch to get that pressure on shield. Oh, Peko trying to find the tech sheets or the banana. Not going to find that just yet. Uh, retreating back again, taking that through with the fireball to banana. Peko making Xavier get way too comfortable with these fireballs. He's so about to trade twice so far and just realizing that that banana is going to beat that out every time. That's a big trade for Peko right there. And of course, he's taking that lead and absolutely running with it. Okay, you gotta move with the positions that you're given. You cannot give Mario an inch, mm. especially at these percents when you know you're going to be living a whole lot longer. Like Mario's combos starting to not being as lengthy once you got start hitting like 60 to 70 percent. And Xavier it looks like he's just looking for a jump call out, and Peko is very willing to let Xavier try and try and condition him with something as he stands and he waits. Yeah, definitely taking a much more of a relaxed approach to this. Nair coming out of shield, trying to find something with that banana there, but Peko again coming in aggressive. The monkey flip on that platform too. Up a full stock and some change here. Xavier trying to get back into this, but Peko doing a great job of spacing with these back here. And not, while not a great disjoint, anything works against Mario. And just keeping your space very well against this character. You just need to play disciplined. Mario is absolutely a overextension check. Because if you overextend even a little bit or undershoot or just flat out miss, you eat a back air, or you eat an up smash. And that's not what you're trying to get here. So Peko sticking to the ground, successfully landing a ton of these monkey flips. I mean, what's there more to say about a well-played matchup? Not much, man. I mean, Peko, again, like like the way his, the economy of his gameplay, the way he's able to mix up on the fly, going from insane aggressive gameplay, just again playing so defensively with this Diddy Kong. A, a patient Diddy Kong is like one of the scariest things in this game. Flipping out that monkey flip on shield. See if you're able to make it back, but man, down three stocks of one, just cannot find this stock because Peko is playing phenomenally at this mid range. So just utilizing the dash back, playing around all of uh, all of Xavier's attempts to close out a stock. This back throw probably even won't do it. And not even close. And banana in hand here for Peko. Did he get a banana actually? No, he wasn't able to get Dang. the banana in the bubble. And the Nair closes out. Nair out of shield is what finally takes that first stock for Xavier. Got a long road ahead of him, but you are at very low percents with a little bit of rage to work with. A lot of rage to work with. <laughs> a lot of rage, definitely. And Mario could find some cheeky stocks with his rage like this. Of course, trying to open up again with that fireball. Peko able to max that energy again, throwing out the banana. Not landing just yet, but showing he's not afraid of that fireball, right? Like, we make the jokes about the Mario command grab <laughs> fireball. Right? But Peko showing that in the face of danger, like, he's able to make that trade. Especially with a lead like this, he takes those trades every day of the week. He eats those trades for breakfast. Oh my god, he eats yeah. those trades for breakfast! Yeah, full stage uh, command grab. Yep. Diddy Kong's got a, got a little bit of a better one, because it's actually a command grab. Ooh. Interesting follow-up there from Xavier, but mm. the charge on the up smash is going to do it for game number two. Peko looking cool, calm, and comfortable with a up smash to close out the final stock of game number two. Loser semis once again go into a game number three. Past 
three sets we've had have all been game number threes with Weezer into Lust, Pekka into Lust, and then Pekka and Xavier bringing us to yet again that all important game three. Mm -hmm. See, we saw there Pekka didn't really adapt to Xavier as much, it said adapted to this matchup. Right, using the disjoints of Diddy Kong very well, opting for more of those down tilts, the four tilts as we've seen, right, and using a lot of back air. Obviously, Zeke Xavier was throwing a lot of that back air with trying to approach, but Pekko immediately throwing that back, throwing it right, right back at him, and using that Diddy Kong back air really well to punish the one thing that Mario really struggled with being so stubby. Yeah, for sure. Like, and of course, he was trying to use that fireball to counteract that, but Pekko just stayed on the ground and, like, wait, if I just like smash throw banana. Like, it's, it's okay if I take like, what, 6% from this fireball? Because I have a, I, I hit you with banana. Yeah. That's a trade that you want to take every day. Yeah, transcendent projectile versus like a little bit of, little bit of burns. Like, all right, A-okay. I'm, I'm waiting for Pekko to really punish those high recoveries so, though. Like, that seems primed for Diddy Kong forward tilt just to put Xavier in the worst position. But the selection of Hollow Bastion here will, oh, Ooh. will give Xavier some really nice extensions off of these platforms, yet Pekko has an opportunity to close out this alleged trap. Great spot dodge. Great dodge. Yeah, amazing spot out there from Xavier to avoid that monkey flip there. Now Pekko getting back to ledge. Again, Xavier not throwing that right back. He's back to ledge here, using that cape there on the ledge too. He's faking that back here really well. To keep the Diddy Kong guessing at the ledge. Now even with Banana in hand, you gotta be so scary because Xavier sitting up under that Hollow Bastion platform. It's going to be really hard for Diddy Kong to get there, but still finally Pekko throwing it right back at him. This first stock is so important. Like, not only does Hollow Bastion have FD Blast Zones, which can make it a little bit tougher to close out stocks uh, in a more reliable fashion. Again, surviving at 147 there from the floor. But... You're gonna you're gonna be so forced to play at the other character's pacing if you don't close out this first stock. And as we see, Pekko is just chilling, waiting for a down tilt, spacing around with back airs, looking. For, oh, there was the gambit from both players. The barrels into the up smash, but no one's dropping the no stock. No punish. What's happening oh, here? We're so overcomplicating these punishes so hard. Sometimes yeah. it's okay to up smash out a shield. They're pretty good for a reason. Tom reinventing the wheel. <laughs> it's been the wheel for so long, and we like it that way. The circle, it's just so good. <laughs> when it goes down the road, it just goes. You don't need to change the circle. Of course, Xavier's still closing up that stock there. Okay. All of these squares eventually make a circle, and we find... I'm not sure that's how it works. <laughs> <laughs> Geometry class with Ubel. <laughs> hey, man. We'll, <laughs> we'll see how we get there a little bit oh! later. The forward, the forward they're not going to do it too far. Was uh, Too far from the ledge was that fall I got there hit. But still, all of that good damage. Uh, he was, uh, oh, he was caped for a moment there. So is that a, he was set the wrong way. Back throw with all his rage? No. Okay. Oh, man, it's such a bad position for Pekka right now. Xavier taking that stock and absolutely running with it right now. Pekka trying as hard to close it out. That monkey flip mix-up is going to do it. Man, the strong, the the strength of that move is insane, especially on platforms. Pekka taking full advantage there, but Xavier still pushing the pressure up, especially with this Mario Banana in hand. Still not going to find that two-room dash attack just yet. And then another jump going for the down air. Seeing the air dodge and wanted to cut loose there. Pekka going for it all. And it did not pay off as his roll back onto stage was immediately punished with a stop taking up smash from Xavier. Again, in a really solid spot here in this game, in this game number three, not trying to throw this lead. But the more you try and think in your head, hey, I really don't want to throw this lead, the more that your opponent can slowly start to whittle their way back into this game 50%. Looking pretty even thus far, but Xavier really slowing the game down. And finally finding that up air combo that he so gladly wanted. 65% on Pekko. Find the F tilt there too. Xavier playing phenomenally at this ledge. Pekko finally getting back in, but still keeping up the pressure there. Rolling to try to avoid that banana, but still Pekko just out and down so much. We need to see that comeback factor we saw in the last set. Sending it back off stage to Flood in hand too. It'll be tough to come back from him, but still banana in hand. Anything could happen with this Diddy Kong. Absolutely here, Momo, because we may see a, a remix of the previous set, which was a which was on Hollow Bastion and Pekko putting together a string of near perfect stocks. The up smash waiting a little bit too long in order to pull the trigger, and now 
Echo letting another edge guard get by him. Losing so Ooh. much ground and taking so much damage. Ooh. Down tilt into up smash coming Ooh. out. Pekko, we saw this before. Uh, it seems a little bit familiar. Hold the fuck. I mean, deja vu. <laughs> but I have been in this place before. <laughs> Riding on the streets, but the wheel is continuing to turn. <laughs> Not reinvented quite yet from Pekko, though he did miss <laughs> some. He did miss some damage. Pekko. Now with the banana in hand, Xavier's got to be careful here because, like, like you said, you got to not be care, got to be not get scared here because this is this is how you can choke. The choking is alive and in real time here, Momo. Because 86 with the back air lands, we still do not do it. Might have make it back. Might have been a little stale. Oh, it, that, this is so tense at this point. Percentages don't matter. The back air still not doing it from full stage. Xavier still. I'm in that nair to get back on. He's not jetpack is a mix up. Good stuff there from Pekko. I like the high recovery, but now you're max rage Pekko looking for a down tilt. The weak back here is certainly not going to do it. Jump. Oh, Ooh, but that second back here will close it out. And the pop off from Xavier. Pop off, King. Golly. Catching I mean, that roll in there with the back air, Xavier. Hurrah. No bias, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> The jump from ledge sealing Pekko's fate. I mean, for the past multiple ledge interactions, Xavier was faking the ledge trump into covering roll and neutral getup and like that general grounded space. So Pekko was able to get by with a recovery high and able to kind of play around that with some patience and good angles on his uppy, whether it be to go to ledge or what have you. An unfortunate game one aside, very well played from both sides as Xavier just barely able to close instead of choke and leave. He's a closer. <laughs> yeah, confirmed closer. But is he going to get to uh, get his run back up against um, Smurf Buster? Smurf Buster. We have yet Smurf to see. Smurf Poster. Me. Smurf Poster, excuse me. <laughs> you gave me wrong information. How dare you? Uh, <laughs> he's got to get through Krugbo first. Is the name of the game and is the baseline Top three is decided with Smurf Poster, Krugbo, and Xavier. Xavier fighting through hard. Pekko, of course, and we got to give props to this for run. Sure, for sure. Being sent down to losers He there. will be made fun of by Zamba, though. He's not, that's on no, a Oh, Zamba, do not interact. <laughs> do not interact. He didn't win, so Zamba will make fun of him. It's just the way of the, the, way of the land. 